Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'm bringing you guys along to go shopping with me. I'm in need of some retail therapy, plus I need to get some stuff for a shoot that I have tomorrow. So I was thinking about going to Ross, maybe TJ Maxx, probably Hollister, and just kind of like whatever's around the area. And like, I'm gonna go through everything. Like I wanna go through the clothes, the shoes, the decor everything also i'm being very lazy today i'm wearing a sweatshirt leggings also check out my crocs they are so cute i added a whole bunch of like coffee charms to, you know kind of stick within a color scheme so it's all like brown very cute very cute but yeah that's pretty much what we have going on today also it's already like four o'clock so let's go ahead and head out <laughs> find some neutral stuff for what I'm booked for but I hope they have some really nice stuff for spring at least. Okay, so coming in with the voiceover, I gravitated towards tank tops first just because the weather is getting warmer and they always have some crazy hidden gems. Like there's this random SpongeBob tank top that I found. But yeah they always have some random like cute crop tops, tank tops, just a whole bunch of stuff. But I needed something neutral for what I got booked for. And, you know, I, I I couldn't have sleeveless, but I couldn't help myself. And then I happened to find this top. I thought it was really cute. And it was only like 7 to $8. So I added that to my cart. I thought it would be a really cute workout shirt since I've been getting back in the gym. You know, trying to get, you know, that cute body. Found this top. Not in the mood. Girl, same. Because aren't we all tired? And then I found this Bronco shirt, which I thought was kind of cute, but I was trying to focus on trying to find stuff for what I got booked for, and I couldn't be sleeveless, but I couldn't help myself. I did find this one cute tank top with a bear on it. I thought it was very cute, but I wish it was in another color. And as I was going through the aisles, I started to see a lot of repeats of tanks and shirts that I was seeing, so that's kind of like the hard part about shopping at Ross, is that you see a lot of the same stuff. I found the same top that I liked in another color and I thought I'd add that as well because again, I'm trying to find some cute workout clothes on the side too. <laughs> Moving on to the next aisle, we are going into t-shirts and this is what I was mainly coming here for because again, I couldn't have sleeveless for what I was booked for so I was just looking at anything and everything and plus, I didn't want to make a haul for you guys so I was going to look at everything that they had. But yeah, sometimes going through the shirt aisle, they have a lot of cute graphic tees or just random like hidden gems in there. Like I found this black and white Betty Boop shirt, which I thought was cute. Like I remember when that was really popular a long time ago. And they even had another one in like this old vintage looking type of like way. And then I happened to find this shirt. I liked the front. I liked the sunset with the flowers, but I did not like the back. I felt like it was way too loud and just... I don't know, I just didn't like it. But then I found another one that was similar that's a Hawaii and I liked the back a lot more. Thought that was really pretty, so I decided to also add this to my cart. Also, I found this really cute Care Bear shirt and I used to have a lot of Care Bears when I was younger. Did anyone ever watch the Care Bear movie like all the time? Because that was most definitely me. And at the end of the aisle, there was even more tanks, so I was just trying to find anything, because again, summer's coming. I'm trying to find some cute tops, and I actually happened to find this bodysuit, and it was like in this olive color for a really good price, so I was just like, you know what, I might as well add that too. <laughs> and I even found this tube top that was like sparkly silver. I was like, whoa, I honestly need to get this. I can see myself wearing this with like baggy jeans, some flip-flops, you know, again, being out for summer, being out for spring. <laughs> Then moving on to another aisle, there's just so much to look at and I feel like that's the best thing about Ross is that they literally have everything to like t-shirts, shoes, furniture, decor, everything. I just, ugh, Ross is like one of the best places to go. I cannot like stress that enough. Plus it's cheap, so I love it. And then moving on to furniture, I recently just found a really cute office chair from Ross that I use all the time now because I needed a new chair. But they have a lot of nice things and if you need like, again, an office chair or just like a cute chair for like the corner of your room or something they have a lot of nice stuff like i really like that gray one and if i didn't have the brown one i probably would have bought that they also had a lot of cute plastic cups and plates for spring and summer and i wanted to buy these so bad but i was just like i'm on a mission i can't be buying all this but i want to throw like cute like outside parties or just like have my friends come over and have like 
you know, cute plates and just like have themes or something. Like, I don't know. And I thought these cups were really pretty iridescent. Every single time I see anything iridescent, it reminds me of my Nana because that's like her favorite thing in the world. And then that picture, it just looks so pretty. I, I love the flowers on it. I wish I got it. But yeah, look at all the glasses that they have for spring. Just like this color palette of just pastels and just, oh, uh, I want it all. I want it all just to throw a whole bunch of backyard parties, to be honest. And I had some stuff left over from Easter since Easter just passed too. And then I happened to find this really pretty platter with like flowers on it. I don't know. I just really like that. And now moving on to the candle aisle. Of course, I'm a sucker for candles. I have a whole bunch, especially from Bath and Body Works, but you never know what you're gonna find at Ross. So I was just looking at a few. I thought this one had a pretty design on it. And normally I steer towards scents that are like vanilla, sometimes some flower ones. I don't know. I feel like every scent is so unique. So I need to smell every candle to see if there's a specific one that I really like. I thought this one was pretty. It had like a nice like sun or flower on it, but you can't really see it on camera, but that one smelled pretty good, but not enough for me to buy. I happened to find this candle and it smelled so freaking good. Uh, and then I happened to find one of these cone things that turn like make the smoke into a waterfall. My mom really likes those, so I thought I'd probably get that for her. And then in the back of the store, they have a whole bunch of mirrors and wall art. I've been eyeing these three mirrors for a while just because we have three mirrors in our home and I kind of want to revamp them and have like a different modern look. But yeah, just looking through all the wall art, I recently just bought some wall art from Amazon, but they have a lot of nice stuff for literally low prices like something on amazon that's like 75 is probably like 25 dollars here like it's uh just save your money if you can i also found this really cute poo and piglet picture oh i just love piglet piglet is my favorite disney character so i was tempted to buy that too but yeah moving on to decor i happened to find this vase which i feel like everyone's seen this on tiktok where people have like interesting vases or like centerpieces for their table and i've seen this one before and so i was tempted to get it and again this one's also iridescent so i thought it was and then i came across the bathroom stuff and i saw this toothbrush holder but i thought what if i put my makeup brushes in there instead since i've been using like a random cup from the kitchen so i decided to also get this too Moving on to the plants, I saw these and it has cute little slots. So I thought they were cute, but yeah, I love the plant aisle in Ross. They always have some really pretty like aesthetic stuff. Like check out this vase, love that. I don't know why, but I do. And yeah, just moving through the aisles, there's just so many things that you can look at. Like I saw this charcuterie board and I thought it would be really pretty just to have as a decor piece or to actually use in the kitchen. Just to, you know, cause again, I'm changing up the style in my house. So I'm looking at that too. And then I found another Winnie the Pooh and Piglet mug. Oh my gosh. Like I want to go to Disneyland so bad. I really, really do. I miss Disneyland so much. But they had a whole bunch of mushroom stuff and every single time I see mushrooms, I think of my best friend Chrissy because she loves mushrooms. And yeah, just every single time I see them, it triggers me to her. Yeah, but they had a whole bunch of cute mugs, like they had that Care Bear one that we passed by. They also had Legend of Zelda, which is one of my favorite games. Yes, I play games. I don't know if you guys know that, but I love Twilight Princess. It's my favorite. I also saw this cat bed. I've been wanting one for the cats, but I just don't feel like spending the $30. And they need a new cat tunnel because they destroyed the last one. So I couldn't help myself, but check out the cat stuff. <laughs> now I'm practically on the other side of the store because I feel like my Ross is pretty big. But moving on to purses just to see what they have. They have this really pretty Steve Madden bag. And Steve Madden is one of my favorites. Like me and Steve, we're best friends. I got a lot of shoes, a lot of purses from Steve. So anything I see of Steve, I have to check it out. I also saw this backpack and the backpacks I have, they're kind of run down and old. So I was tempted to buy a backpack and I kind of liked that color, but I decided not to get it. Found another Steve Madden bag. This one's kind of giving like cotton candy bubble gum. So really thought that one was pretty. And then when I saw this one, I thought that pattern was really like, I don't know. I like that color palette with the blues and stripes. And then they also had a blue shoulder bag because you know I'm a sucker for shoulder bags. But I also checked out the makeup aisle just to see what they have. I normally don't go in this aisle, but they do have a few stuff like this makeup brush set. Tempted to get it because my makeup brushes are old, but whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get them. Then moving on to the shoes. I love their shoes. Like look at these cute kitten heels from Guess. Oh my gosh, I swear Ross has like the best selection for shoes sometimes, only if they have your size. Because sometimes I'll find a shoe that I really like and it ends up being a 10 in the six and a half aisle and it drives me insane. I thought these denim sandals were really cute. And then I happen to find Reeboks. Every single time I see Reeboks at Ross, 
I pretty much get them. I love Reebok. They're like my favorite shoe brand other than Steve Madden. And then they also had these Michael Kors platform sandals, but it had a stain on it. And plus, when I looked at the size, they were a seven and a half. And those were the only ones I could find in store, which just made me sad because I really wanted those. And here we are again with Steve. Steve, you have the best shoes. I don't care. I thought these were really pretty, but I already had something similar from Steve Madden, so I didn't end up getting those. Then headed back to the front of the store, I found this mesh top. And I'm still updating my modeling portfolio because there's just so much I want to add on there. And I thought I'd wear this to the beach. So I decided to also add this one to my cart as well. Then as I was headed to check out, I found this like martini crop top and I thought it was really cute. So I added that last minute, but pretty much I was ready to head to Hollister and I got a lot of stuff for Ross. So it was a pretty good Ross day to be honest, but yeah, still on the search for more things. And I wanted to check out Hollister because there was something I was looking for specifically. They have these really cute crop tops, which I hopefully I'll find one to show you guys. Then going into Hollister, they have a lot of new stuff, especially again for spring and summer since the warm weather is coming. I've been eyeing these dresses for a while because I recently came in here and I love this green one. I love the color palette on it and I want it so bad. And they also have it in brown, but ugh, something about that green one is so pretty. And they have a whole bunch of t-shirts and stuff, but those aren't the ones that I was looking for. But I did come across this sweatshirt that said San Diego on it. I kind of liked it. It's something simple and I thought it was cute. And I also saw this really like floral like shirt i don't know something about this is just like i don't know gorgeous and it's flowy and i don't know i need i'm just like eyeing spring and summer stuff to be honest just because i can't help myself <laughs> and then i also found this long sleeve that was the same color palette as the dress i just saw it was really pretty tempted to get this but i just wasn't a fan of that like style of top then I headed to the back of the store where Clarence was because I just couldn't find the shirts I was looking for, probably because I just didn't look hard enough, I don't know. But you never know what you could find in the racks of Clarence. So I was just going through everything just because and I did find this really pretty top. I like the look of it, I love a knit top, I love the color, but I don't know, something about it, I just I couldn't commit. But yeah, as I was going through Clarence, literally the best thing could have happened to me i actually found one of the shirts that i was looking for but it was in clearance and i was like oh my god i need this i was literally looking them up of what colors they come in and this was one of the colors i wanted and the fact that it was in clearance oh my gosh oh this was one of the sweaters i bought for a previous haul and i wanted to see what price it was <laughs> and then i also found this tank it was just like this you know nice halter top and it was like again for clearance price so you know it's just like you know what i like this one screw it i think i'm gonna get this one and with what i got i only spent 12.39 like girl i saved some money okay i was so glad with what i found at hollister just ugh I need to go back because I again I want more of those like shirts because I promise you the material is so freaking soft <laughs> then as I was in the car I realized I need more makeup because a lot of my stuff is running out and I wanted to see like what I could get so I headed to Ulta to see what they have I was on the search for my foundation because I know that's running low and I'd rather just get it before it runs out but they just they have so much at Ulta. I feel like this is probably like the main makeup place I go to and they have a lot of nice stuff like they have like this whole Hello Kitty section and they had cinnamon roll like oh it's so cute cinnamon roll is like one of my favorites but yeah I happened to find my foundation I get the Maybelline Fit Me foundation um I used to use the elf foundation i forgot which one but i switched over because it just seemed like it wasn't working on my skin and yeah i also needed a new eyeliner because girl my eyeliner pencil is so short that i just won't sharpen so i i mean i'm just in need of new stuff to be honest <laughs> then going through the aisles i always see a whole bunch of stuff i've never tried before like this body butter that looks like whipped cream i've always wanted to get this but i think it's like what thirty dollars and i not willing to spend the money but i i want it though i bet you it smells good and then all the sugar scrubs i love tree hut sugar scrubs especially like the vanilla one the cotton candy one they just smell so good i wish i could have every single one to be honest and i guess they have body sprays which i didn't really know that so i found the vanilla one of that or what is this 
oh it's soap or something i don't know if they had body spray i think i'd get it but yeah love tree hut for sure then going back to my holy grail of elf i was looking at the concealers i used to use just because i don't know just to see if i wanted to switch back or not i felt like my skin got really used to it and just wasn't covering like my dark circles or like my face as well so i don't know i may or may not use that concealer again i do kind of miss it and then i moved on to nyx for their eyeliner pencils because they were like six dollars and i was not trying to spend like over 10 for an eyeliner pencil so i was going between black or brown because i do switch between the like the two depending on like what i guess eye looks i do i don't really do much eyeshadow stuff but i decided to get the black one just because but that's pretty much all i really needed from ulta just like my foundation the eyeliner pencil and i also happened to get a blush which i'll show you guys in a second i ended up going to target to also get some food but yeah all my shopping bags are everywhere <laughs> hi kit kat you're so cute Oh, so yeah, I did end up getting a lot of stuff. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got at Hollister. I was in the clearance section and I found this halter top in the color brown. That was very, very cute. The original price was $14.95 and then there was like an additional sale on clearance. So I got it for... I got it for $5.39. You cannot beat that price. But yeah, it's just your average halter top. I really like it in this color brown. And it feels pretty nice, especially for $5.39. And then this is how it fits on me. It's like a really nice form-fitting shirt. Really cute bodycon halter top. And then this is what it looks like in the back. So yeah, I really like this one. Especially, again, for $5.39 crazy and then i also got this crop top which i was actually looking for these because i got one recently and i love the material of these they are so soft like here let me show you the other one i got so i got the same top in this really pretty like teal color and again the material is so nice so i was looking to buy like more of these and when i was in the clearance section they actually had this one in this color it's like a khaki or like a light brown and this one was also on clearance i got this one for six dollars and the original price is 17.95 so another really good find in the clearance section so i'm really happy i got this top and then this is how this one looks this one's also another like really nice form-fitting shirt i kind of feel like it looks a little bit light purple in the camera but yeah it's a it's a light brown or like a khaki so i really like these ones especially for exercising if you guys want a really nice exercise shirt go to hoster because these these feel really nice. They're really cute too. And then at Ulta, I ended up getting a few things. So the first thing I got was my foundation. I was running really low. So I used the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Okay, so my dumbass bought the wrong one. It looks very similar to the one I get. So I accidentally bought the matte one, but I need the dewy smooth one. And they're pretty much very similar except for like the font and of course like what they do but yeah i have to go back to the store to return this one but yeah i used the dewy smooth one that one works really well for my skin and then my eyeliner pencil literally cannot be sharpened anymore so i got the nyx eyeliner pencil in the color black i was tempted to get the brown one but i decided to just go with the black one anyway just because that's just what i'm used to i'll probably try the brown one out another day but today is not that day <laughs> And then the last thing I got was something new that I've never tried before. It's the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush. I've seen my friend Sarah use it all the time on, like, her Instagram. And I don't know. I never had a liquid blush before, and it seemed like it was really good. And with all the other videos I've seen of this, like, I haven't heard anything negative. So I'm really excited to try it. I got it in the color Dusty Rose because I think that one would probably complement my skin tone the most. And then I did get two full bags worth of stuff at Ross. But I'm going to save it for another video to give you guys a Ross haul. But thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me to shopping. But let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make more videos like this and if you enjoyed coming along with me shopping or if there's any other videos you want me to bring you guys along. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!